I am so disgusted in my boyfriend for the fact that he tells me he loves me. It's an ick. Oh my God, guys. I've recently just gotten the ick for my boyfriend because he yelled, Yowch! When touching the hot pan. Ick. The biggest ick ever has to be whenever people do human people things. That is disgusting. Stop doing that, please. Ew. Ugh. Ah, yes. The ick phenomena. You would think that getting the ick from someone would be because they do something extremely gross, such as watching Fortnite corn, they poop with the door open, or even worse, they actually do things that are gross as heck. Now, what is getting the ick from somebody? Getting the ick from somebody is whenever you are romantically attached to somebody. Let's say you recently just started seeing James! Now, James has wonderful qualities. He's a cute little handsome boy. But you looked at his shoes and you were like, no, not James. Ick. Or for me personally, whenever I've gotten the ick for men, it's been because they've actually done crappy things. Like from a fair few years ago back, when I went to go see this guy, immediately he judged this girl for wearing a crop top because she was overweight. I was like, so if we ever date and I get overweight, <laughs> oh no. I found some of the biggest icks that men get. Okay, let's go. If she wears Air Maxes. I feel like that's just a wrap. If she wears Air Maxes. Boys, if she wears shoes, she's f***ing disgusting. Ugh! Ugh! A lot of what we're going to be seeing, though, is men getting the ick from women because they either do or wear things that are quote-unquote manly or the woman that they're talking to is a bit masculine. But then, for women... And this is not all women, this is not all men. So shush, shush. Some of these women that we're going to be looking at today also don't like it whenever a man does something remotely feminine because then that, oh, that zesty bro, hell nah, that's gay. Red flag. I never see Air Maxes anymore though. So maybe that is, yeah, maybe that is why it's a red flag. <laughs> Pausing the TV because I asked her a simple question. <laughs> Or asking what's going on in the film the whole way through. When you are both watching the For same. the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When she spits a... I mean, yeah, it's a little bit annoying, but uh, I, I do this like a lot. I don't know why I do this a lot, but I do it. It's mostly just because I'm thinking out loud, not because I want an answer, Buckley. Gum out and tries volleying it up in the air to catch it in her mouth. <laughs> Who does this? And if you do that, that's like, that's cool as the fact that you can actually do that. I am so unco. No, no. I, I try doing anything like that. Yeah, then maybe you'd get the ick. Fair enough. I've never seen a girl do that in my life. Would you get the ick though? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Especially if they're wearing Air Max. <laughs> if she climbs up the stairs. With <laughs> On all fours? Yeah. <laughs> oh my word. Scampers up this. them. This is a big one. Holding your middle finger up in a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen girls do that in a picture. <laughs> okay, so if that's an ick, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because it's just like men really be out here in their pictures like... I mean, if that is what an ick is going to be, then you know what my ick is? Whenever y'all hold up dead fish or dead animals in your profile picture with Air Maxes on, don't do that. Don't f***ing do that. But do you see how weird this is? Because it gives me the impression that just because you don't like maybe one thing about somebody, that's it. You end an entire like talking stage, relationship, anything that you have going with someone because there is one thing you don't like. People are not perfect and relationships in general are all about compromise. I absolutely hate loud chewing. I think it is disgusting. Not disgusting in a way like, oh, why are you doing that? It's more so I cannot stand it. I can't stand stand loud noises. I can't stand mouth noises. Now, am I going to leave my loving, caring, amazing boyfriend because of that? No! Usually, when you really like somebody, these icks don't matter.
From what I can see here, this guy is riding this bike a bit feminine. D is there anything wrong with that? I really don't think so because I'm just imagining my partner doing that and I think it's maybe because I truly do love him that I don't think that that is an ick whatsoever. But also you really have to ask yourself the question, why do you necessarily think that's an ick? I don't want to be that cringe mother and be like, oh, is it because of your internalized misogyny? Because it could be, but it also could be the fact that you want like a, a manly man. Oh my God. But in today's society, you're really not allowed to have fun. You have to be an emotionless robot. And if you are an emotionless robot, that is absolutely amazing because there is nothing to have an ick about you. What's your biggest ick? Okay, so it might be a bit rogue, but when a boy gets hit by like a slow moving car, Huh? Oh, hey, dolls. What would you say your biggest ick is? Oh, you know, if, if my mans were to be hit by a car and almost die, that is disgusting. I don't think I could ever even touch him anymore. I would just... That is so icky. At first, I was like, okay, only time I've ever gotten the icks is whenever someone's actually been a terrible person because I thought that that's what an ick was. Come to find out, it's really just like little ass things that can turn you off from someone. And that is crazy to me. I don't know why, but that is such an insane concept. Look, I, I don't know why it is, just shut up, all right? But just to let you fellas and gellers know out there, you cannot put your life in danger or that's an ick. You're not even putting your- wait, 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 hold on, Caitlin. They're not even putting their lives in danger. Okay, so um, your, your partner gets hit by a car immediately, you're over. Good, good in that case for him because he's just dodged a major bullet. Okay, the only reason I don't like this video is because this creator posts a lot of like icks she has about her partner, which makes absolutely no sense to me, okay? Because I know every relationship is different, so shut up with that too, okay? Okay? People can just be so predictable in the comment section. But if my partner was to post on social media almost every other day about like these things that were icks to him and then only do that because it gets him clout, we're done. That, that is an ick to me. Why, why do you need to post your boyfriend, partner, whoever the hell constantly about, oh my God, the new ick. But then again, this leads me to believe that the ick for a lot of these people I just internalized misogyny because it, and call me crazy, call me crazy, call me psycho, call me whatever, okay? But the problem I have with this is whenever a man does something remotely feminine or he is not presenting as masculine in a moment, that gives you the ick, which if you want a manly masculine man, that is 100% okay. But I don't get it whenever people are to start talking to a man who is not the traditional masculine manly man and then get surprised whenever they're just being themselves. That makes genuinely no sense to me. All this says to me is that you cannot have fun in front of people. You must once again, just be completely devoid of anything, any emotion, nothing. Thing. And for an anxious motherfucker like myself, and I've been single right now, out in the dating pool, whatever, this would scare me so much. Like, so much. Whenever you get into relationships or start talking to the right people, you realize that you can just genuinely fully be yourself around them. Like, I've been with my partner for almost two years, and anything I do in front of him, he does not care. He loves me still as much as he did when he did didn't know about my weird, gross, uncomfortable traits. Like the fact that I'm uncoordinated. My spatial awareness is very shit. And a bunch of other different things. But 
oh my god, you guys are never gonna find anyone if you keep having this ick thing. Put your pride aside because these are the same people who end up single and wonder why they're single for life. Oh my god, I just want, no, you don't want anyone. At this point, you need to like just, I don't know, jump on AI chat and start floating with them because, babe, they'll never give you the ick, trust. Why do women do that give you the ick? I don't like... When women dress bad. Define dressing bad. When they like look like everybody else. Like, have you ever been to a bar? Like, you know, like a basic dresser. A basic dresser. I don't like, I don't like a- Hold on, man. You're wearing a dad cap. You are wearing a plain jumper. You are also wearing plain pants. I don't want to hear anything from anybody who dresses basic, which does not matter if you are a basic person and you enjoy wearing plain clothes. Slay. Slay. Slay, slay, slay all the way to the sun, honey. I think what the problem is, is that, mate, you look basic. You are dressing basic. You dress like every other person I see in the city on a Saturday morning. Like, you are not special. And if you have that kind of attitude already, it's like, what does how someone dress have to do with their personality? If someone has a bad dress sense, who cares? Genuinely. Like, I remember always being told that I could never put clothing pieces together, like I didn't have any fashion sense and all that kind of shit. And then whenever I started to grow up and actually develop my own thoughts, personalities, beliefs, all that jazz, then the same people who dressed like shit had something to say like, oh, do you want to go get a drink together sometime? You, Your style is so amazing. You look so hot. Shut the f up. You don't deserve me. And you also don't deserve anybody who, I guess, dresses outside of the norm. Because, I don't know, I find that to be so weird. Because you have to understand that people who dress outside of the norm really do not like people like this to begin with. Because if you are only wanting to be with a person for their aesthetics, you don't actually like them. You like how they look next to you. You like the fact that they represent you well enough. And so, yeah, that's, that in of itself is an ick. That is a red flag because y you don't actually want a person. You want a Pinterest board. You want an Instagram hashtag. And that is completely fine. But also don't be talking about how these girls are dressing like everybody else and then dress like every other man at the moment. Shut up. Okay, so all in all, what have we learned today? We have learned that accepting people is sick. We have learned that Having the ick is okay, but if you are doing the same thing that you have the ick for other people for, what the hell? And you will also never find anybody if you are constantly judging them on their personality traits instead of looking introspectively and asking yourself, why don't I like that particular thing? If you keep going for that particular thing, I don't think it's the other person's issue. And the final thing, what did we learn most of all? That X should be whenever somebody does something just not that great. When they do something that goes against the vibe. Now, with that being said, I don't really f*** with the ick phenomena, as you can tell. It is very, very annoying, especially for anxious motherfuckers. Do we be ourselves around somebody or do we like shut that up and mask? Because if we don't, then we could be the new ick that is blasted on TikTok. Now, with that being said, my beautiful people, thank you so much once again for your time today. I apologize for the way my voice sounds. It's taken everything in me to get up and film, especially because the lights, are, the lights are blinding at the moment. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves. Cheers.